guess what tier tray I'm bringing to you today. A tier tray that I didn't think I'd be doing, but I'm doing it, and once I did it, I was really excited about the outcome. Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am bringing to you my 2022 St. Patrick's Day tiered tray, and with this tray comes 21 quick and easy Dollar Tree DIYs that are so stinking adorable, I can hardly stand it, and it just takes this tray over the top and brings out all that green and white and gold cuteness that I didn't think I'd like. Oh my goodness, I love it, and I am so excited about this tray, and I think it's one you're absolutely gonna love because this is a tray that I got a lot of requests for, and if I'm being completely honest, I didn't think too many of you would want this tray, so I wasn't gonna do it. But because so many of you requested it, it wasn't one that I could leave out of the series. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let me show you these 21 adorable, quick and easy DIYs for a St. Patrick's Day tier tray that I think you're absolutely gonna love. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Getting started, the colors that I'm using for today's green is a combination of Waverly's Fern and Hello Hobby's Chocolate Brown. I like to mix a fair amount of green or whatever colors that it is that I'm using for each of the trays or a larger project because I don't want to run out of paint and then worry about having to match the paint up again. And so using these containers that you can get in Michael's dollar bins, they work perfectly because you're not wasting paint. You can close it up and I will say 10 times out of 10, I end up using all of my paint at some point or another. And so I'm adding brown to this green because you all know me. I like to mute out my colors. I am not a bright and vibrant type person. If that is not for you, muting out your colors, I say pick some colors that you like. These colors here will be going along with the embellishment pack that Linda and I have designed for the tray, so just keep that in mind as well if you're interested in the embellishments. During Valentine's Day, Dollar Tree had these adorable galvanized envelopes. Loved them so much. I picked up a few of them because they make for an adorable addition to the tiered trays. You can really customize them easily, but they have this hole at the top. Pesky holes. So because this is a galvanized metal, the spackling isn't gonna stick to it real well. So if you just put a piece of masking tape there in the back, you can then easily fill the hole with the spackling and it'll stay. I've had a few of you inquire as to how I do my stitching and how I get it on so evenly and smoothly. Trick of the trade is just to add some water to your paint to thin it out a bit. When you're using a chalk paint, chalk paint's a bit on the thicker side. So if you just add a bit of water, use a very, very thin paintbrush. This is the thinnest paintbrush that I could get my crafty little hands on. And by just putting a bit of that watered down paint on your brush, you can see just how easily it applies. And the great thing is, is you're not going in as often to get paint on your paintbrush. It goes a bit farther as well. Now for the fun part, right? The embellishments, the icing on the cake. These are the embellishments that Linda designed for this here 2022 St. Patrick's Day tiered tray. If you're interested in purchasing these, they are available in Linda's Etsy store for instant digital download. So if you've got a Cricut, 
you can do the instant digital download for three dollars you're going to download it to your computer upload it to Cricut Design Space you're going to print and cut it and you'll have your embellishments and you can print them and cut them as many times as you'd like if you want Linda to cut and send them to you it's going to cost you six dollars and that is with free shipping you can find the link to Linda's Etsy store guess where of course like always it's in the description box below and for this envelope this horseshoe here is perfect to cover up the heart that was once there and i thought i'd finish this off with a die cut embellishment that says happy saint patrick's day and of course a twine bow a black twine bow because the color theme black white green and gold for this yes saint patrick's day tray Next up, Dollar Tree has this pack of 12 foam shamrocks. Ask me why they don't have the wood ornament ones. I don't know. A little bit frustrating, but these are going to work. Because they're a bit on the flimsy side, I'm going to take some of Aileen's tacky glue and I'm going to glue three of them together, just making them a bit more stable, less flimsy. Out of that 12 pack of foam hearts, you're gonna need nine of them for this quick and easy DIY because we need three sturdy shamrocks. And to these shamrocks, I'm gonna give two of them a good coating of some white paint and that darker green one is going to get the dark green paint. Now, why am I doing two of them white? Because gold is part of this color scheme and with the gold that I'm using, it's not going to cover up that green glitter very easily. It's a lot easier to cover up a white chalk paint. And so yes, one of them is getting a base coat of white and will be covered in gold. So you will have three shamrocks in the color of white, green, and gold. The gold that I'm using today is this metallic gold by Craftsmart. This four ounce bottle is gonna cost you about $2.99 and that is without a coupon. And to these three shamrocks, of course I added stitching. And the DIY I'm trying to emulate is that of the hearts that I did in the last tier tray, the three candied hearts. I thought it would be fun to do three shamrocks. And so, yes, but because these shamrocks are a bit on the flimsy side, they are not wood, we need to help them stand up, right? So Dollar Tree wood cubes will do just that. I find that when placing these cubes, if you stand your piece up and then put the cubes in the back, your piece will stand better. If you're doing it when your piece is flat, a lot of times I find when I go to stand my piece up, it falls forward. So just stand your piece up and then you'll get perfect placement. When adhering my die cuts onto my embellishments, I like to use Dollar Tree's foam tape because why? It adds character and personality when an embellishment is elevated up off of a piece versus gluing it flat down onto a piece. And we are all about character and personality here on this channel. Dollar Tree's got these arrows. They make for a perfect house, right? But we can't have a house with holes in the side. So of course, I'm gonna remedy that with my spackling. What would I do without spackling? I use it in just about every DIY. I tell you, it's one of those things you should most definitely keep in your stash. Ha! And through the magic of video, we've got a painted house, almost. It's missing stitching and embellishment and a twine bow. Next up, we've got a cauldron. This comes in a five pack. St. Patrick's Day, they call it a pot. I'd pick up the five pack because it's an adorable addition to a Halloween tier tray. I didn't have one last year, so I used a glass jar, but I would definitely pick up the five pack because they come in handy and keep it in your stash. To this cauldron, of course, I painted it gold with some black stitching and thought that these cute white flowers from Dollar Tree would be perfect inside of it. I'm having way more fun doing this tray than I thought I would. Here's another one of those items at Valentine's Day that I told you in my haul you might want to pick a couple up of because it's a stack of books. You know I love to add books to my tiered tray. These are a bit bigger, but how fun are these with just a little bit of paint? We've got some stacked books and you didn't even need to cut any wood. To these books, Linda designed these vinyl decals 
let the shenanigans begin. I placed the larger word first just because I wanted to get the positioning good so that way everything was kind of symmetrical and even and in its right place. Since I've got about three of those foam shamrocks left, I'm gonna incorporate them into this tray. And so this one, I went ahead and painted it black, added some white stitching and thought it'd be fun to just add it to the top of these books. And of course, there are so many fun die cut embellishments that I'm gonna add a couple more to this as well. Oh my word. I think these books turned out so stinking cute. I love them. There wasn't a ton of St. Patrick's Day decor at Dollar Tree, so I really had to think out of the box with this tray. I picked up this six pack of foam shamrocks. Two are green, one is gold. It took a few coats of gold, not gonna lie to you. You're also gonna wanna use some of these pails that you can find in the wedding section. They are so cute and with a little bit of paint, look how cute that is. Added some floral foam to it, stuck my shamrock picks in there and adding some of that reindeer moss is just gonna add to the greenery of this. And just like that, with a twine bow, another cute decor piece for our tray. Scrabble tiles are another one of those quick, easy, and adorable additions to a tray. I have incorporated them in previous trays, but it's been a minute since I've added them to one. And so since I had the letters that would spell out the word Irish, I thought that this would be the perfect addition to this tray. You can find Scrabble tiles. These ones to be exact, I got at, I wanna say Walmart. They're very inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon. Michael's has them, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. I wanna say that Walmart was the cheapest. And so just grab some, put them in your stash and you can add them to each of the trays because they come with multiple letters of each letter. So yeah, it kind of works out. Again, because I don't have any Jenga blocks, go figure I don't have Jenga blocks. I'm gonna use the cubes just to stand these Scrabble letters up. The six pack of wood planks is another great item that I like to add to tier trays because you're getting six planks in a pack for $1.25, which is great for six tiered trays. And so this is what really makes a tier tray budget friendly is when you buy items that have multiple that you can easily add to each tray. And so again, because I had another shamrock left, I had three left out of the 12, I decided to paint this one green and thought that it would be a cute addition to this plank and just make kind of a stand-up sign. When you're doing these trays, you kind of want to add height differences and dimension to it, and that really is what adds to the personality and the character of a tray. And again, you know the drill. I want to stand this plaque up, so I'm going to use just a couple of Dollar Tree's cubes, and I found that if you don't place them right in the middle, but you separate them and put them off to the sides, your stand is a bit more sturdier or your sign, your stand, your sign is a bit more sturdier when it stands, yeah. Dollar Tree has a couple different styles of these words. One is just the word standing up by itself and another is this with the tea light in the back. I think that these are fun to add with the tea light because then it's adding that light element to your tray and so with a quick coat of paint, some stitching and a twine bow, another cute addition. Again, this is another one of those items in my haul that I said if you found it at your Dollar Tree, you should pick a few up because what a fun addition to any tier tray. Just by simply adding a coat of paint and an embellishment, look at that. We took it from being a Valentine's Day piece to a St. Patrick's Day piece. These bowls are another easy addition. They come in a four pack. You can use one, two, three, four, use as many as you want. Just by putting a quick coat of paint on them, I used three for this DIY. I painted one green, one white, and one gold and added some gold coins to them. Again, because the lack of St. Patrick's Day items that Dollar Tree is carrying, I was really trying to think out of the box. These mini red Solo Cups come in a 22 pack. You know what I'm gonna say, great for multiple DIYs. 
by putting just a bit of green paint on them, a couple embellishments. I know I totally did this backwards this time. I had some red sand left over from my Valentine's Day tear tray that I figured I'd use up because to these adorable green Solo cups, I'm gonna add some caulking because these are Irish cream sundaes. I had to have gold straws for my sundaes, so I gave a paper straw a couple coats of the gold paint, and while the caulking is wet, I am going to place my straws in there so they dry in place, and you will see that there is a spot of green missing on both sides because I placed my embellishments crooked, and so I peeled it off and the paint came with it. I did end up fixing it later though. Dug into my cake sprinkles and there is some gold sprinkles here that will be perfect for the topping of my sundae. These mason jar plaques are an easy find. They've got them for most holidays now. This one is the Easter one that just came out. And so to this plaque, I painted it green with some white stitching, went ahead and took off that silver top, had to paint it gold, couldn't leave it silver. To this mason jar plaque, I thought I'd add my last foam shamrock that I painted white and added some green stitching to. How cute is that? I really ended up loving these foam shamrocks and ended up being pretty happy that I got them. At first I was a little bit bitter because I wanted the wood ornaments, but they ended up working out. And so to the center of the shamrock is Think Green. Going through my stash in the garage, I saw that I had this mini white frame. So I added a bit of stitching and one of Linda's embellishments and voila, an adorable addition to a tray. These gnomes are a new addition at Dollar Tree. I picked up a few of them. I'm showing two here. I ended up only using one. Pretty easy to paint with the detailing because it's printed out there. So you just gotta kind of follow those lines. And I did just that, adding my colors for this tray. How cute is that? This gnome was missing a bit of stitching, so I added some stitching and an embellishment to the bottom. These frames are another one of those items you can count on seeing on just about every tray because it adds to the different heights that I like. By adding just some paint, some stitching, and an embellishment, look at how fun that is. And along with that frame, you can count on seeing these tags. Got them at Michael's in the dollar bins. They came in a 24 pack. So why not add them? It's an easy DIY, super adorable when you add an embellishment and some colored twine to it. Always look at the Dollar Tree Fairy Garden pieces because they're fun additions to a tray. You could easily take this boot and make it a leprechaun's boot with just a little bit of DIY and look how cute that is. One of my favorite pieces to add is a birdhouse. I love the birdhouses. I don't know why I just do. So I add one to every tray because again, it's an easy piece to DIY. Next time you're at Dollar Tree, go through the toy section and grab yourself a box or two of these alphabet cubes. They are such a fun addition and the size is perfect for a tray. So to these, I painted two white and two green and I like to glue these together with some of Aileen's glue. And yes, I do see that my white is not quite covering the letters enough. I do go back over that. I promise you that I did see it as I was gluing it together. Those letters are pretty bright. I wanna say that I actually put like three coats of white and it didn't cover, but in my defense, I wasn't using Waverly's chalk paint because I ran out. I was using Apple Barrel and the coverage isn't as good with Apple Barrel. It takes a few more coats. Anyway, off my soapbox of paint, these are now glued together. And so to these, I did end up adding some stitching and Linda did some vinyl decals that spell out the word luck.
Right about this time when the summer items start coming out, the Hawaiian items, keep your eyes open for the wood utensils. They come in a 12 pack. Grab a couple, because when you paint them, look at how cute those are. Adding a bit of stitching, gluing them together, and adding a twine bow. Another quick and easy DIY for a tiered tray. These rolling pins are not a Dollar Tree item. I found these on Amazon, bought them because I wanted to add them to each of the tiered trays because just by adding a bit of paint and again, a die cut embellishment with some foam tape on it there and a couple of twine bows. It is an adorable and you guessed it, easy DIY. Quick and easy DIY. The link to these rolling pins you can find in the description box below in my Amazon store if you're interested in them. And that's a wrap. Let's go take a look at the tiered tray all put together. My Kayla Michelle girl is uploading today and she is bringing to you 2022's March bullet journal. This is a series that she started this year doing her own journal. So if you like to journal, you might wanna go follow along with this series and journal with her. You can find the link to today's video mm -hmm, in the description box below. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Penny Peterson, who's bringing to us her spring bumblebee tear tray DIY. I am loving your spin and twist and use of Linda's embellishments. Such a fun creation. Thank you, Penny, for sharing your tray with us today. Okay, I'm gonna say it, that was a fun tray. Sometimes I'm wrong and sometimes I'm not feeling the inspiration behind the DIY, but once I get started, it just kind of comes to me and then I start having fun with it and the creations start happening and then voila, there you have a St. Patrick's Day tear tray that is stinking adorable, even though it isn't all that rustic and it isn't, I guess, those browns and earth tones that I love. I still love this tear tray and I think it was a fun one to add to our collection. I hope you all enjoyed the 21 quick and easy DIYs for this St. Patrick's Day tear tray that I brought to you. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me mm -hmm, just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. You know what else I'm gonna say? Stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody.